Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Big, big. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy, ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. Well, go on, you know, Madea, I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. And I mean all, I mean all, I mean our Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it, we're on it. Just Google us, Boss Talk Podcast 101, and we'll pop up first in line. But if you want to see all our visuals, you got to go over to our YouTube channel. There you see all our visuals. I mean, hit subscribe. Don't forget to hit a notification because you don't want to miss out on any of this fire content that come in your way every single day. But you know we do have some exclusive content that we hiding from y'all. And if y'all want in on that, you got to join our membership. And how you do so is under each and every interview. In the description section, there is a link that says join our membership. Click that link and that's how you can join our membership. Thank me later because you're going to love it. Yo, 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 man. Check it, man. Hey, this show a little different. We got some people in here today, y'all. Uh, you know, I always want you to anticipate what's about to go down. It's your girl, Little Pinky, is in the building. What's up, y'all? You know who it is. It's your girl, Little Pinky. Yes, baby. Yes. <laughs> Little Pinky is in the building. Little Pinky, y'all. What's up, y'all? <laughs> man, and you know what, man? It wouldn't be a show without Starships and Rockets <laughs> in the building. Stars in the building today. It's going down. <laughs> OTC, you stand up. OTC, you on the come up. Boss Talk 101 podcast. You know the females be over there rocking that joint. So, man, we're going to always give it to y'all, man. What's going down? How y'all doing? Good. Doing good. Doing good. Doing good. It's an amazing day. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a very amazing day. So, what's up with it? Uh, so, let's let's go with Star, man. Like, like um, you flew in from Atlanta. Yeah, I'm from Chicago though, but yes. But you flew in from Atlanta. Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And 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 how was the flight? Um, the flight was cool. It flight was, was cool. cool. It was cool. It was cool. I uh, mean, I had a layover. What? Then, yes. Oh my god, the layover to Orlando, Florida, before I got to Dallas. So um, I had to stay at the airport for about seven hours. Damn. Seven, seven hours. hours. How? What? What? You know, because I'm I'm the type of dude. If you if I'm at the airport like that. I'm a people watcher. So I'm watching what's going on around mm -hmm. me. So I start messing with everything. Meddling, bothering everything around me. I can't sit still. Talking to everybody. They want to go to sleep. I'm messing everything up for them. She how over there going to sleep, I guarantee you. How was your seven mm -hmm. hours? You went to sleep? I went to sleep. I told you. Yeah, <laughs> she was one of them. I told I you. Was I, was to I, was, I was so slobbing. I was so <laughs> <laughs> Man, and little Pinky, you was out. You've been out shopping today. Yeah, I've been out shopping a lot. You a shopaholic? Yeah. Well, I mean, a little bit. It's therapy, ain't it? Yeah, uh, isn't mm -hmm. it? <laughs> but I'm always needing something new because I'm always making a lot of content, and I gotta keep going and keep going. Yeah, I can't yeah. keep wearing the same thing over That's and over. That's the expensive I part about making content. People don't think about that. Like yeah, you, you know, doing these shows and just being on the internet a lot, like we do. You mm -hmm. you always trying to come up with some new way to you know flare mm -hmm. yeah you know and, and to be honest with you I think it's dope that you would even think of it that way you know you out there with the same clothes on every day nigga man she ain't got no money man but you gotta <laughs> switch it up too you can wear the same top but maybe throw on a blazer with it the next time maybe right. throw something else out I mean, to make it look uh, yeah, new no don't don't get me wrong I've worn things several times but. I mean, there's a point where you're like, I can't keep wearing, no. <laughs> no, I need something new, man. This is not working. Do you donate the stuff that you don't wear no, no more? No, I, I still keep it. Oh, okay. I mean, I wear it, but just not in not the Not on camera. Yeah. <laughs> man, so, you know, uh, a lot of stuff been going on, you know. I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I be watching what's going down, man. Diddy, um, you know, he been catching hell for a while now. You know, after the Cassie video, came out a lot of people started tripping on the fact of you know it's some of his some of his best homeboys you know some of these dudes that were really rocking with him say they done with diddy you know um if you ever look at what well, now i'm a man so i look at it from a man perspective if you now mad at diddy and you was with diddy when he was doing this stuff what do y'all think about that being with him 
You was he, you was with you was, was just around. around with you him. know the yeah. nigga was putting hands. Okay, you okay. know you was with him and all that. I don't and think you was talking like actually. No, no, no. no. <laughs> when, you know what I'm saying? Like the, said, now that he's gotten caught with his hand in the cookie jar, mm-hmm. and these dudes I here. I don't think that I could have been able to still have any type of friendship with him at all. If you seen it happen. Yeah. Or would you wait around for the money like a lot of people did? Wait yeah, around. if you are around him trying honest. to come up, if you are out around him people, trying that's to come why up. they all did it, you know? Right. They all did it. He's a powerful man, obviously. Uh, yeah. I, He's I getting away with this and that. And, and um, people sit here and, like, i seen a video that he was, uh, he had, who was it? The guy that played radio. Mm-hmm. Oh, you talking about Cuba, Cuba Good Jr.? Yes, him. And um, had him with another guy, and he was rubbing up on him, like, because they have all this money and they can get away with it. And everybody just puts up with it because obviously they're either going through a struggle and they need the money and they're going to keep working or they don't want to change their lifestyle, you know, so they just stay in it. Yeah, and I now got- that it's bringing it to light, you know, now everybody wants to be more like, hey, like I wasn't involved hey. or. You know, or I was involved, like it got ha- done to me, and now I'm, you know. Trying to cash in. I'm right. trying to understand how a nigga say something now, and he was there, and he's seen stuff going down. Like, th- they got a couple of security um, guards on TV mm-hmm, that are steadily speaking on it, but you watched it happen, and you permitted it when it was going right. down. Right, That's what I'm tripping off of that, like, and that make me feel like you just as much to blame right. as the, as the people who did it. security guards, though, are security right. guards are hired, like a bodyguard who's hired, and you, you're, you're in certain situations where as long as it's not um, criminal... At a time it's or whatever, I know, but like, <laughs> like you're there, okay? You're getting paid I to keep you. your mouth shut, yeah, and so protect to say. me, nobody else. I don't exactly. care. I'm gonna tell you something. When the video, they say that he paid fifty thousand dollars for that video, right? Right. I don't think Diddy went down there to get the video. I think some security or somebody close to and him went down it. there and got it. And, and no, they got it from, and they did leave. But I'm just saying, they went and got it. I don't think Diddy is out here making a business move like that. I think somebody else went and got the video, went and talked to the people. We need that video, blah, blah, well, blah. probably threatened them and everything. I don't that's think. What, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But if the person who did that. Mm-hmm. N- that person should get in trouble for tampering with evidence. But they're not calling it that. He's just looking at the fact that what happened. Why? That's a good. That's a damn good way to look at it. What are they doing? They just isolating the incident so that they don't have to deal with the. They don't care. There's a lot more videos, guys. There's well, a lot of other stuff. It. He had two hundred some cameras in his house. They put out the one that's least effective, which it was still effective. So imagine what the other ones might look like. That's imagine, what I'm thinking. Imagine who yeah. owned the other ones. Yeah. Y- yeah. <laughs> and then he started naming other people that were involved, right? I don't know. Did he name somebody? Because oh, I heard wow. something about Jennifer Lopez knowing, you know, uh, back then, I think it was in like 99 or something like that. Really? When they had a shooting and that she was the one that went and got the gun for him and brought oh, it Oh, that was when the shine stuff mm-hmm. happened. Right, and they're bringing that up too now. Well, you know? everything that he they're did. They're going to look at know, every, every, every yeah. person. At every female he's ever dated. They're going to be looking at I, them. Right. I didn't know he dated um, Jennifer Lopez. What? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, first of all, hold on. How old are you again? Maybe that's what. Maybe that's what no, it is. Because <laughs> everybody knew about that. Yeah, so no, I, no, I didn't. If I, you're I, a certain I, age, I'm, I'm 34. And you didn't well, know you, about you that. You should have known no, about that. No, 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 I didn't. No. Well, that was a big crazy. thing. I just, I, I, um, one reason I found that I watched the YouTube, uh, not YouTube. I'm sorry, the Tubi uh, movie. The downfall of Diddy. Mm-hmm. So, well, I think without him being with Jennifer Lopez, she wouldn't even scale to the success oh, level no. that she yeah. is. But you know, without what? Diddy being so with I her, she wouldn't be the girl she is today. They dated because they didn't date that long. They was only together for a short period of time. No, they was mm-hmm. together, for they were together for a while. For a while. What's a while? Like over a year? A on year and or so. Off. Yeah. Yeah. And on I, a- I want to say that's why I didn't know. Because well, her relationship don't like last long anyway. She been married <laughs> about true. ten times. True. You have to, yeah, true. But he was the one that started off that pumped her up. You know, we didn't know nothing about J Lo. Uh, I remember Jamie Foxx saying we remember her on the set when we was on Level Color, and it was just yeah. like, hey ho. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, that, that's in the song. See, I, I knew that he got um, Danny you know Kane, uh, the group that he, uh, Danny Kane. Yeah. I knew that uh, he got them started because I used to listen to them when I was in high school. That was my jam. Yeah. My heart was damaged then. No. <laughs> so, 
Okay, when you think about like, but you see that new person that came out and what is charging have sexual assault charges against him now. This young female, Danny boy. No, no, no. It was a young lady, and she was 22 when it happened. She said she was drugged and forced to do, right? right. You know, it was a case where he said, um, "Try this weed. Try this weed. You've never had this weed before." And she tried yeah. the weed and stuff like that. And eventually, she said he led her into the bathroom to do. Forced her to do, you know, yeah. oral sex and stuff like that. Then all of a sudden she passed out and she woke up in a cab. Damn. Oh, that's my stuff. Um, that's it on, that's um, crazy. So, so, but her the statute of limitation on her case would end next year. So she wanted to come out. And after seeing the video of Cassie, that pushed her to like, you know what, let me go ahead and tell my story yeah. as well. Because she was young at the time. And the part about that whole article I didn't like, she mentioned, say, that there was a designer who dressed her up to get P. Diddy's attention because she wanted to get his attention. Oh, wow. And he, But she did not... Um, so that designer and, and her, really, if you flipped that and made that a man, they would be predators. Mm -hmm. mm. She did not name the you designer. You didn't hear what I just said. Of course not. And the designer, they if you're in predators. that industry, yeah. you know, it seemed okay. like a lot of people knew They're exactly for who P. Diddy was and what he was up. capable right, of. Right. But you are Seeking priming out. her up for this person. Mm -hmm. So you, you are helping. What? It's like you're on P. Diddy's side like, anyways. It's you like, are helping. It's me. like you are, um, what you call what you call a pimp. Yeah. Pimping her yeah. out for her oh, for yeah. him. That's that's how I look at it. Yeah. So but they, you didn't name him. They both conspired to do it together. Was she of age? It said she was twenty two. Yeah, well she oh, was a, okay. Yeah, she went okay. in, she okay. wanted that, she wanted that did it take that, take that, take that. She wanted I, that. I was thinking she was under age. No, 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 okay. she grown. No. That that same it thing. It says twenty two, I'm not sure if she's twenty two now, because thing. this was like two thousand and eighteen. So I'm no, like, she would have no, been no, way no, young. No. So I don't I think okay. she was twenty two back then. She was twenty two back then and because she would have been too okay. young. Hugh Hefner did that all day long with the Playboy Man. Same thing. They grown, they consenting, ain't nothing wrong with that. She smoked that weed with or without Diddy. But Something is wrong if somebody drug you. Uh, well, at the, stop smoking with folks. But what you smoking you, I mean, for? Yeah, Why you got to smoke with? You jumping right? up here smoking right. with folks. They you know, know damn well on. you don't know what's in that weed. And you don't you know, have to slay with something she or whatever. Lucky, lucky she didn't die. That could have been with some of that, uh, what's that stuff they slacing it with now? Fentanyl. Yeah. 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 But I mean, what do you expect? Quit smoking with people. You're in a, this, you know, mansion so or whatever, build, having these big parties, right? Yeah. What do they expect is going to happen? That's what happens, right? Now, then you yeah. have all these famous people. You even have uh, Prince Henry, you know, at these parties, too. Yeah, he probably on them you know tapes, too. That's we don't know. Yeah. Everybody right. was out there. Right. But Danny Boy came out today. Danny oh. Boy came out. Uh, the one that sung I Ain't Mad At You with Tupac. Oh, he's been I on the show as well. Mad. Oh, and he's been yeah. on Boss Talk. And okay. he said that Mary J. Blige molested him when he was 15. What? And she was with Bad Boy. And he seemed like he's pushing it toward the whole camp. And he actually talked about it on Boss Talk that he messed with her. He was very young. I did not know he was 15 at the time. Did you? Did he say that on the show? No. Nah. What are you talking about? Wow. Danny Boy. The Mary J. Blige? Yes. Yeah. That's what he said. Yeah. Well, Sex. Oh, wait. When it, it turned from a woman, now it's the same thing. Yeah. Right. No, yeah. yeah. It is. Yeah. But yeah. but the standards, okay, but the thing is that, okay, growing up. Allegedly, like, allegedly, look at it like allegedly. That. He wrote a book. He wrote a book but, and put it in the book, too. It's in the book. But, okay, but we were all young. And when I said we were all young, meaning, like, when you were under 18 and you had friends, as in guy friends, under 18, they were trying to get older women. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like, oh, this woman took advantage of me. It's more like these younger guys are trying to take advantage of these older women. Ain't what? no young nigga taking care what? of you okay, now. Oh, no cougar. I'm talking the ones <laughs> no that cougar. I was around. No oh, cougar. Was, oh, okay. I'm not talking about no, just cougars. a general case. Okay. I'm Straight talking about cougars. you have some of these kids these that cougars. are under 18 right. that we are way ahead cougars. of their I time. Remember. Let me tell you all the story. trying to smash every single body no matter what Let me go and give you my story. I wasn't going to say I'm gonna go let it go. I'm gonna have to see it. So I got molested by a woman. Like that? Yeah, no, I did. You lie. I'm not lying. You see yeah, a woman grabbed me by my mouth, kissed me, tongued me, did some things to me, and, you, oh, and, that, and I'm still here. I was just, I probably was nine. And you didn't. And she was grown. What could I do? Push back. You didn't say bite her motherfucking you lip. Your mama, your daddy. They don't care. Punch her in the face. You can't say they don't care. They didn't care. You, you never said anything. They knew already that one was doing that to me. I know they did. I'm sorry. It's all. I ain't, I'm. It's all right. 
You so fake. You gotta look good. I was gonna call you. No, he said the truth, probably, oh. but I look on his face. Oh. You know, I'm telling it's you. It's all right. It's all right. Some boys I'm be just like, telling you, I went through it. That, so, I went through it. It depends I went through on how it. you were I raised. Went through it. It's it, all right. You understand what I mean? Yeah. It's I can right. understand some of these young kids who are not experienced with certain things and their it. mindset is not like that. Right. And then I felt that boy when I was in the middle of the That shit ain't right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's something totally different. Right. But some of these Young boys, man, don't blame yeah, them. Young they, boys, they, like, they get they like they, older women, and they get taken advantage of by cougars. No, they don't. Or yeah, they take cougars. Advantage. Are you kidding me? You said, These cougars you? become sugar mamas. Mm-hmm. That's why they no. do it. No. Exactly. That's why they do it. No, exactly. It's not my same. Please keep up with it. I'm gonna keep it out of my I'm way. Because I'm telling you, these I'm women out here. You ever watch Antoine I, I Fisher? You know what I'm I, talking about? Even, Antoine that's Fisher went through the same thing. That, that is real. I got done like that. What? Stop it. It's not funny, but it's funny. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Y'all don't have to take me serious. How, That's how what they do. Know? That's what they do to people. When men get taken advantage of, they don't treat them the same as they treat women. They treat it like it don't matter. And we are tired of it. It depends on the age. It depends on the age. You are tired of it. No, you are super young. We're, if you were super young, now fifteen year olds and stuff like that, you're old enough. You know better. You were super young. That should not happen. Fifteen year old. It was definitely taking advantage. A fifteen year old boy will go uh, after an older woman. Yeah. And, and so you like saying was, Danny Boy was the one who went the after Mary J. Blige? Like, yeah, I'm the man. Sure. That's what you're saying. No, there's boys out there like that. I'm not saying everybody. Danny Boy, right no. to this day, we're Danny, not saying it here. Danny came no. out and he's homosexual. That's fine. He had oh. to, he changed over. And this could have been one of the things that that happened to make that happen. We don't know. Right. He's got his he had a child yeah. after that, though. He did have a child, but he still, was, he still was. He still was. Man, that stuff is yeah. dramatized. It will pretty much just mess your head up. A whole world. Yeah, he probably got traumatized. Traumatized. Yeah, that, yeah, that could be. Yeah, so he went mm-hmm. through it. So I'm telling you right now, women get back off these <laughs> young boys. Women, watch your kids. That's yeah, you these young about. kids don't need that. Watch your kids. And there's a lot of these women doing it. Boys, <laughs> if you are interested in these older women, just wait till you 18 to, to, to go out there and do all of that, right? Let's just wait till you 18. I know some of y'all like older women. Just wait. Wow. Now I'm going to move on. I got something else I want to talk about because I looked this up. I couldn't believe it happened, but it did. And um, I want to talk about it a little bit. You guys can listen in on the conversation. I'm going to let the clip play. And um, we're going to we're gonna listen to what um, happened today. Adam 22, no jumper, said this. Okay, so I have a pretty huge announcement and I'm doing it on Snapchat. Uh, So anybody who's thinking about ripping this and putting it on any other platform, don't even think about it. Anyway, Snapchat exclusive. Uh, I'm making some very big changes in terms of no jumper. As of today, or as of tomorrow, the news, no jumper news, it's over. The Monday show, the Wednesday show, and the Thursday show also are over. I've decided that I really want to focus No Jumper. So I will be continuing to do the Tuesday show with Lush and Brick Baby. I will continue to do as many interviews as possible. I'm going to have other people on the platform. Okay, let's stop it right there. So Adam22 runs a podcast, uh, a whole media network. Um, sort of like myself, he, he runs different programs. We have Boss Talk Podcast 101. We have uh, OTCU on the come up on a network station that uh, we call Boss Talk 101 Primetime, which you guys work with me on. So um, he has he has a lot going on as well at his spot. So he decides to come forward and say, you know what? Screw this. I'm letting everybody go. This is the second phase. The first phase was uh, House Phone and AD, who AD has been on this show multiple times. They left the first. That was the first phase. They left. And then he comes back and he gets Whack 100 and he gets Brick Baby and he gets uh, he Sharp was the only one that stayed over there and his show continued to go. Um, so he's switching it up again. Is this him creating controversy to make people watch the show more? He has millions of followers. He, as myself, we all on all these different platforms, streaming every day. Um, what do you 
take from it, Mr. Jamaica, because you know he's talked to. We had a falling out with him early on. Boss Talk 101 came in the game falling out with Adam 22 and AD. They talked about Boss Talk and Charleston White. We was all arguing back and forth. It was a big thing. He could be cutting back for many reasons. Um, Because he mentioned, you know, having less employees. And we already know if you cut back on less employees, you're trying to save that money. Trying to probably allocate that money into other areas. Probably, you know, maybe he's not, his show does well. So I'm not going to say he's not making as much money as he used to because he should have been making, still making really good money. So I won't even think is that he's just probably cutting back. You never know. He's trying to spend more time with his family. There's a lot of different scenarios we could go with why a person would want to, you know, pull back. It could be a lot of drama with so many different shows and so many different people dealing with. It, it's a hassle having a lot of employees, a lot of different personalities. I know a lot of his people that he's dealing with is not females. You know, females can go cuckoo sometimes, but he's to deal with a lot of men, you know? I deal with a lot of females. Check this out. I'm a real, real one. I don't, I don't really mess around with a bunch of niggas. My daddy told me when I was young, don't be letting them niggas ride in that car. You got your new car. You in high school, I been I see now nigga in that car. <laughs> and then I've been rooming with women ever since. I don't mess with no bunch of niggas like that. Ever. You know my daddy how he was. That's mm -hmm. how he was. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but I look at it from a different perspective. I think you gotta look realize all of these guys, a lot of them were gang affiliated. There were people pulling up to the, you know, to the spot. He's in LA. He's in the Cali California. He's in a, and all he have on is people who are affiliated with different, you know, gangs. Uh -huh. So there are people into it on the show. They fight back and forth on the show. Last episode I watched, Flacco and White 100 got into it and they was walked outside to fight. There's always a lot of controversy. So there's a lot of drama going on. Yeah, and, and I think that's the difference between you know what he, but but he made that bid. That's what he, you know, yeah, it got him a lot of views. It. Yeah. It, got, it got him a lot of, but you know, hey, listen, the, people go through it. Okay, right. I think he's sharp. I think he, I, I think Adam Twenty Two is smart to do it the way he does it. But I do think, from Adam Twenty Two, to Vlad, to all these white guys who are interviewing black people and making money off of it. I think it's a money grab for them. I don't think they care too much about what we're doing for our culture. Uh, I try to be one that looks out for our people. So it's a difference. It, well, our dynamics are different. Now, we're different because I come from this culture. I've been through a lot of stuff to be who I am to speak the way I do on this show. Mm -hmm. But when you look at those guys, they have grew their platforms on bringing minorities black and brown all on his show and 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 pretty much using them for the drama in their life and in their culture and making money off of all the drama yeah. that's going on all the fighting mm -hmm. and all the bull and and i think that that can be dangerous yeah because now people are probably opening up their eyes that's all he's doing right i don't it's know like, if they are is I'm, he is he doing his own culture no exactly so now people are probably starting to see that and see that he's making money off you know, everybody else's drama. Like a culture vulture you're talking about? You know what I'm about? saying? Almost, almost, I don't want to say being racist, but I mean, at the same time, you're putting every other race out there, because but your race. own. Mm -hmm. So you ain't talking about everybody. You're trying to make everybody else look bad, make everybody yep. else look lower, make every, you know what I'm saying? And you're making money off it. Mm -hmm. You're making so, money, big right. money, millions. So, so that's why now people, you know, probably starting to see, but at the same time, he already made what he needs to make. Now he can just focus on something else better just for him. You know I don't saying? think so. I think he rebuilds and I think he puts, he don't know nothing else but to put people that look like us in front of him to grow his base. I don't think he can do it no other way. We are, man, listen, it's your girl, little pinky. <laughs> oh, shit, man. We exciting. Miss Jamaica, I mean, mm. uh, ECO, the stuff we deal with, the people we talk to, when Vlad talked to Boosie, that shit is exciting to him. He has never felt our culture like that. Boosie mm -hmm. faced life. Boosie was in, in faced life, was in prison, uh, 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 was put on death row, and he's trying to touch that. So are you mm -hmm. saying that if they were videoing... Yeah. Hold on, so you Vlad, saying... I'm talking about, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So you saying if these individuals, like Vlad or Adam-22, was interviewing their own culture, you're telling me that they wouldn't get as Not many views? Not gonna be exciting. It wouldn't Not be as exciting? Ain't nobody exciting like us. No. You're very excitable I, I, people. I, I agree with that. It's going to be boring as hell. 
Nah. <laughs> it's gonna be you get yeah. a few, but it ain't gonna be nothing like this. Like yeah. he getting, he getting that. You got Boosie over there at Vlad. You got Wag One Hundred over there at at No Jumper. Wag One Hundred was doing that already on that uh, clubhouse by himself. He already was a star. You go get these people, your show gonna go. You can have AD over there. And I told AD on here, man, listen, that dude had you over there. You a big old brother. You know all the other Crips and you all the other bloods. It's real safe to do stuff when you around. So yeah, I think it's I think it's uh I think it's a great move for whoever do it, you know. I'm just telling you. I don't know much about Bootleg Kid, but I always throw him in, in the in the book because he's a white guy interviewing black people too. So I'm just telling you, this is what they're doing. Am I tripping on them? No, I'm just stating the facts. I, I can't say it. That's what it is. It is yeah, what it is. Yeah. Everybody can see it, but nobody everybody it. see it. Nobody's saying that. So I'm just saying, what is he? What is he trying to? What is what is the end game? How is he trying to help? Is he in the community giving away bikes? Is he? Have he ever did like me being oh, yeah. here eighteen I years and, 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 and giving? So. No, I'm just saying giving away uh, to like we did giving away mothers back. You know uh, when it's back to school tax free yeah, weekend yeah. giving away <laughs> clothes to our single blacks. Yeah, that's what we did that over here. Case, that's what we be talking about. <laughs> no, we talking about uh, somebody got locked up after they left the show. Mm -hmm. They like I mean, the drama though. People get entertained from all that. Well, I'm telling you right now, man, you know, we getting kind of fed up with it. He even got, I, I, I seen Vlad, he got a little upset about um, um, uh, Shannon Sharp. When Shannon Sharp had Cat Williams and that shit went through the roof, Vlad started talking crazy about that interview. Oh, he yeah. was upset. Yeah. Because I he didn't. didn't see that. Yeah, Why? he didn't. Because of the numbers. Because uh, Shannon Sharp he said he made him. so much money yeah. off of it. He said he didn't make that much money. He kept going in on him about the money that he said that they were saying he made and how much it was. And that was like, he felt like he's the gatekeeper of, of YouTube and how he going to be better than me. So it's crazy when you get so self-righteous that you think you control the black culture. Yeah, well, that's ignorant. <laughs> I'm just being real. Just, uh, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. But he's showing it. Yeah, he is like, he not? He because who's watching it? But he pays. He pays good too. Boosie might be getting thirty thousand a, 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 a damn interview. And that's why people are doing it for him. Yeah, he pay everybody exactly. So of he give them three thousand. Everybody's in there for the money, 000, right? Right. Four thousand. He give them. So it's not like they're doing it for free. So I mean. Yeah, but still, it's a thing where it, it looks a certain way when you start looking it at is? the top tier leadership, looking at what's going on, right. or if somebody tell Vlad no. Like Tyrese told Vlad he ain't going on his show. Right. He got upset about it, started exploiting him, said, when I say exploiting it, I heard him say, you know, man, he asked Boosie about it. That's how he throw. Hey, Boosie, how about you? What you think about Tyrese? And and I tried That's to get him to come bait. on my show, and he didn't even do it. And then he going to post something about my show. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. This is the kind of stuff that's happening. That's it was somebody power. else, too. It was, it was one power. more person that yeah, wouldn't go on I there. Like, I ain't going on that nigga's show and. Blah blah blah, and every time he'll come and ask some one of the other black people, okay, kind of you see what I'm saying? Yeah, Why he didn't? Yeah, but you try that's pinning yeah, us so against. We had, we had uh, Pimp and Ken on here, who Pimp and Ken, that's my boy, and we talked about Pimp C sex tape, and he took what we talked about. And put it on the show in his show, and said, "Hey, you heard that story about uh." This is what Vlad asked Boosie. Hey, you heard that story about that Pimp C sex tape? And he didn't say, Pimp and Ken was on some, you know, show. He didn't say boss talk. He didn't give an acknowledgement or nothing. Oh. He basically just kind of took our information yeah. uh -huh. and, and, and then made something out of yeah. it. But, and that's cool. I get it. But Pimp and Ken came on here. He was mad as hell about that. Yeah. He was like, man, why would you come over here talking about what I said on another mother? You can call me. Right. I've been on your show before. Why would you? And he was upset about yeah. that. So what I'm telling you is, it is this this game is competitive as hell. That's why people don't mention people's name. They don't mention people. They don't want to. I talk about everybody. I'll say if I want to say real life, I say real. I want to say say cheese, I say say cheese. No jumper, Vlad, whoever. I don't care because I'm who I am. But they're doing that because they feel like they, you know, boxing you out or they don't mention your name they they can keep you from growing 
D.L. Hughley did a whole damn set on my show and didn't even say boss talk. I was mad as hell Aww. a little bit. Yeah. But that's because I'm a fan of his. I like him. So he didn't say the show now. I'm like, what the yeah, hell? Yeah, made you feel some what type of way, mean, though. Like he was, he was no. on his radio show, his and he radio. talked oh, about what show. I okay. done on my show for an hour and didn't even say Boss Talk 101. Oh. Where it came from, yeah. Or what a video. Wow. He just talked about Gip and and and, two, and uh, P. Diddy, and he defended uh, P. Diddy. And at the end of the day, Gip was saying something he said, but he said on this, he got it off this other show. It was my show. Yeah, that's my style. So it's stuff like that that's going on where I don't think people they feel like they're doing you a favor, but don't don't talk about nothing on my show if you don't want to you don't want to mention my show. Yeah, but that's because. But they shout out to Breakfast Club. I got to shout out Jess Hilarious. Thank you, baby, <laughs> for, for putting me up. I love cent, her. for posting my show. Jess Hilarious. You know that's all the other girl. people. It's a lot of them from academic DJ academics. Dope. Post my show when it comes to posting. These niggas, they rock with me. Uh, I can't say it. World star, all of them. Yeah. Everybody that really rock with the shade room. I, I can keep naming them. Vlad has yeah. shared your stuff. Vlad has shared my stuff a lot. I ain't gonna lie. I be really tripping off that because I be like, damn, Vlad still be sharing my stuff. But He I might not be... call your name out, but he share your content. But it's hard not to when that shit going viral like crazy. <laughs> everybody else sharing it. Right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yep. That makes everybody else want to share it too. So, but I definitely respect and like the fact that he. But you can't even say that because you you you're the one who would say that. Well, podcasts and certain people in Dallas don't share it. Yeah, but that's different. You know, that's the local stuff. I get that. I, I but it's just when it go viral, viral. You know, you want to see everybody get a jab at it. Shout out to Miami. Shout out to Africa. Shout out to all the people that rock with us. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That keep sharing the content and rocking out with us anyway. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to Money Moses, who we know Star can tell. It's Starships and Rockets. Uh, Money Moses' is uh, uh, ex is on the show. Or are y'all still together? <laughs> we was never in a relationship. Y'all was never in a relationship? <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out what went down. Oh this boss my talk. God. <laughs> he on the wall right there. I said he, he locked up. He in prison. But at the end of the day, uh, we got to say free money Moses. Free money Moses, y'all. Oh. Free money oh, Moses. Free money Moses. <laughs> you looking at the relationship. Oh, my <laughs> No, uh, that, I mean that's 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 my boy. Like really, that's my boy. He definitely had my back in you know a little situation. I needed a friend, and he was there for me. So yeah, you know, well that's I, my I, that's my nigga. If he don't get no bigger, if he get bigger, he gonna be my bigger nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That nigga is that's that's boss talk. Yeah. So at the end of the day, uh, without him, you would you wouldn't be sitting in that seat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Think about that for a minute. No, because that was his, they argued with, I had him in L.A. just recently. <laughs> he called her and got, went off on her on her birthday. So I knew who she was because of that. Then he tried to show me a picture. Yeah, 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 look at her. She goes, I don't give a damn about that bro, nigga. <laughs> but that's my boy, though, you know what I'm saying? So I'm riding with him anyway. It don't matter, you know what I'm saying? And then how many times you was like, hey, I need you to come out here. Yeah, so you ain't never do nothing. I'm here now. Yeah, it took you a whole damn year. It wasn't a year. It seemed like it. Six months. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Better late than Half never. Half of a year. Already. She's here. I'm uh, here, so I'm I, excited, though. Nah, you're doing a great job. Who who else? What else happening out there? Anything else happening in, in the... I uh, want to say about... Um, I, I want to... Oh, well, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. So, um, I want to um, know y'all thoughts about um, content creators making, like, funny jokes about... Uh, well, since we talked about Diddy, you know, you know, reenacting certain things. When like, they run down the hall, that shit, I about died. <laughs> when, when, when it was a nigga run down the hall, yes, the time on it. Oh, uh, man. Uh, skin bone. Yes. Oh, yes. man. Yes. When I see that, oh, I love it. Keep it coming. So, now, yeah, I, I know a lot of people was like, he was getting a lot of backlash, you know. For doing it? Yeah, for doing it. For like, you know, um... Just the fact that what happened to Cassie, I think that to me, I think it's more so like a colorism thing because when you look back and you think about like Tina Turner, Whitney Houston, even Megan Thee Stallion, you know, when certain things happened to them, it wasn't it, it wasn't a big talk. But now that it happened to Cassie, it's like, oh, y'all shouldn't do that. Y'all should condone stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, People would be in an abusive relationship. And I just think like, hey, he's just making a, you know, a comedy out of it. That's what he does. You know, any other um, 
content creator that does comedy. That's 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 their job. That's what they do. So I don't think that they, you know, promoting that or condone it, but you know, that's how they make their money. Yeah. What so I think? just want to know what's your thoughts about it. Because I'm, I'm a content miss, creator I'm, I'm, too. I'm, I'm, and yeah. she is too, and yeah. Yeah, all us are. Yeah. So let's let's get it popping. Go ahead, thank you. I feel like I mean, I don't have a problem with it. I see it as comedy, too. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. It's just telling the truth, um, and it's entertainment. It's Obviously, it's for the views, but if that's what they do, and that's just not something that come, came out of the blue just to make fun of that right there, I mean, that's just part of the act. Yeah. I don't see no harm done, really. I look at the fact, because the first time I saw it, I kept looking and what before I made any assumptions, I, look, I was trying to see how far they were going to take that joke. Okay. But um, for the main fact, he only took it to running down the hallway and then go into reenacting the whole situation. Mm -hmm. Then I'm like, okay, that's fine. You don't have to show the whole situation because for somebody who did not see the, vi the true video, mm -hmm. wouldn't really know what came after that. Okay. You know what I mean? Well, that he, nigga, did, that he, nigga he was came running, out with he a, second, he came out with a second video, mm -hmm. and, but he kind of flipped the script. You know, I didn't see the second video. What yeah. was it about? He uh, did do the yes, reenaction of. So, oh, that's where he probably got a backlash so it's, on. It's freaking hilarious. Because so, just running down the hallway, I don't right. see the backlash so think, on that. So, well, that's what it started. But when he came out with the second video, it started off where, um, her name is Amber, by the way. I don't know her for a name on Instagram, yeah. but she's super dope. Um, it started off where <laughs> it was like. Why Meek Mills texting you, talking about some what you doing, sweetie? Like that. So she was like, oh, hell no. Nah. Like, she got her shit and got up out of there. So it went from him running out the shower, getting out the shower, running down the hallway, as if, like, she called him, like, he's supposed to be gay or something. Wow, and that's crazy. Yeah, so uh, he was supposed to swing off her, and she tased him and started basically beating him up, you know? So um, it's kind of think So do you think it went too far, uh, Lil Pinky? I mean, yeah. I mean, but they flipped the script too. But then again, I mean, that's not right either. You know what I'm saying? That is, we're laughing, not we, but people are laughing at that situation. I mean, they said that that he really went in on her. Like, he was kicking her like she was like, you know, like a dog, like a wild right. animal. Like, he was really going on. Yeah. And if somebody, if that was me, and people are making videos like that. It's but like I said, like, he flipped the script. So it was her doing all that to him. But that's showing that it's okay, right, for females to do it too. Yeah, that's okay. that's abuse. Period. Yeah. Regardless. Yeah. And like I said, the only video, serious, the man. only video well, no. I saw, the only video I saw was him running down the mm -hmm. hallway. And at that point, I was like, okay, that's fine. Just running down the hallway, mimicking that part with mm -hmm. this towel around, that would have been totally fine. But when you go into the rest of it, as mm -hmm. in reenacting whether it's flipped or not, mm -hmm. you know. I've saw people in the comments talking about this trigger because a lot of people out here go through abuse. Might mm -hmm. not be the same exact situation, I mean, I, but just watching, it, so. but just watching certain situations, whether a man being a woman, woman being a man, mm -hmm. sometimes it triggers other people's, you know, um, trauma. Mm -hmm. I can agree to that. You see what I mean? And it, it get it get put them back in that situation mm -hmm. all over again. Mm -hmm. So that's where it's just like, uh, yeah. Not well, really I'm gonna be honest with you. Can, Please can, keep bringing that. those. Uh, nice jokes on the internet because if you just look at serious stuff and everybody take everything so serious we're going to be all conditioned to not understand how to have fun how to smile but like i said oh, it's, it's, it's a part of it about it okay it's a part you of it you gotta okay. laugh a lot of people don't <laughs> heal so if you not heal from whatever trauma or you've been through then I can understand. Well, that's their own. They, they got to get they, they never got heal. To, some people let, just learn how to cope we ain't gonna with never it. laugh you know what I mean? Some people no, just cope with real. it. No, for real. But I, honestly, the things I've been through, I could sit back and, and joke about it. Like, oh, I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, <laughs> if you, I said to y'all, nigga, you, you, nigga try to run over you running down the road. <laughs> <laughs> you took out running. <laughs> Yo, well, yeah, I, I've been there. Yeah, so most, you've been in a abusive know, relationship. Let me just say this. Most yes, people have, have been in I'm not gonna, And that's the part what pisses me ex, off. I'll never yes. forget my ex, like, one day. What's the worst thing yeah, you ever did? Yeah, what's the worst thing? Oh, happening. my God, y'all. Well, what did you do? <laughs> no, go ahead. Yeah, go on and on. This man pissed me off so bad. <laughs> what did he do? So, um, well, let me tell you how it started, because he didn't just come out and right. hit me and all like that, but... You know, he used to talk to me. He used to, like, 
he was very mentally abusive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, that's how it started. Yeah. And you just didn't say nothing the whole time, man. Your mouth so big, ain't no way in hell. <laughs> anyways, I'm not gonna sit there. See, I'm gonna, anyways, I know I got what's going I, on with this. I, I, was, I end up. <laughs> I ended up hitting him with a So remote. you hit him. I you hit, hit him first. first. Oh, I, did. I did. I did. I <laughs> did. So, because he was just talking crazy. And when you hit him, what do you do? Bop, 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 bop. hit you with a no, two I, piece. So I hit him with the remote and I tried to run. And he caught me. <laughs> he said, caught me by my head. And he pushed me down the stairs. Yes. And yes. how did you roll? Did you your shoulder hit, <laughs> or did your head back of your head hit? Yeah. Or? So how did, that? did you roll, or did you like? <laughs> yeah. Or how did you? And when you got up, did you say, damn? <laughs> was he on top of you after you no. stopped rolling? No. <laughs> did he, let, did he, did he <laughs> close the door like that old man? No, I didn't write it. Yes. But, um, yeah, he caught me and whatever, and he kind of like stumped me out a little bit. I oh, got, he stumped you out yeah. after that. So he was on oh, top of no. you the whole way. I mean. When you were rolling, he didn't care what well, the neighbor no, thought he, or when nothing? He, when he grabbed me, it was like I kind of went back and then. He kind of let me go, so that's when I fell downstairs, and then he kind of ran down the stairs. And, and, and y'all was in an apartment? Yep. And he didn't care about the neighbors. He stomped you out right there. Shit, his mama was there. His mama didn't care. His mama helped him. Oh, wow. His mama was trying to break it up, but... Oh, uh, was she trying to help him? She was trying to save him, because I almost stabbed him, so... Oh, you had a knife. Now, see, this is what I'm talking about right here. <laughs> now, now, so you had a knife, and he had... This was a real fight. It, it really was. But the point that I'm no, making no, you is, had the knife. It's, it's but, 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 but wait a minute. But I heal from it. But let's I talk about it. Let's, talk about it. let's talk about it. Let's talk about it right right now. If you'd have stabbed him in his throat and mm. killed him right yeah, then, who would have been the aggressor? Yeah. I, yeah. That would have been. Because I know I had a girl before Boss Talk came in here and told me how she ran a nigga over. You know what I'm saying? After they got into it, she ended up going to prison, I think. I was young. What I'm telling you is that shit can go either way. We can. Because I'm going to tell you something that you don't want to hear. But that conviction is all the DA want. He don't give a damn which one of y'all go. Somebody go. I understand that. (laughs) That's all he care about. But what's the difference is I learned once I feel like any guy that comes into my life at the moment I he gets to talking to me you know any type of way that's unacceptable yeah I walk away as you should so no man got no right I, to know, hit, put his hand yeah, on a woman but I, no woman got no right to be putting her hand on no damn man true. throwing remotes true. grabbing knives with the remote in one hand the knife in the well, other I, hand that's the story Why so did it, you get I, the didn't knife just, I didn't just start off just did you have the abusive. knife when you had the remote it was my bag was downstairs, so. So you got the knife when yeah, you got out, right after you got through rolling. <laughs> yeah. And you got <laughs> you went to your bag. Did you have your bag on you? <laughs> You're toxic. <laughs> How did you get to the bag? We talking about starships and rockets. Ago, yeah. Did you get the bag in in the car or was you? My bag was downstairs already. Oh, so when you rolled, the bag was down there. No, yeah. So you kind of rolled into the bag. <laughs> I didn't roll into the bag. It was just that, so when I made it to the bottom of the steps, I got up. And so I went into the kitchen. So his mama was grabbing How him. How you going to the kitchen? You downstairs. Because it's an apartment. So upstairs, downstairs. Oh, y'all didn't never go outside. I thought y'all was no, there. No, 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 no. So when I came down the stairs, the living room is here. And then the kitchen is there. So when, as he's coming down the stairs, of course, she's in the living room. So okay. she see, see me falling. So she comes to the stairs, and so she's stopping him. While she's stopping him. You getting a knife. I'm, you must, right, I'm getting a knife. I'm going to so, kill this nigga. Hell yeah. What did you say in the heat of your head? Well, how, how do you talk when you mad? What did you say? Bitch, you got me fucked up. You're about to die today. Oh, that's how you said it? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, you better die today. <laughs> Boy, y'all niggas over there acting a fool, man. But that's what I'm telling you, like, and, and, and I said that, and I tripped because, you know, there's nothing funny about domestic it's, violence. Right. But I can say it happens all the time. And people are really, like, they really like, diddy, diddy, diddy. But there's a lot of people that tell that same story like mm. you just did. And I don't think people try to, they don't want to hear it. But it happens. And, and, and You just got to get through it. That's and I'm all. glad you did. Yeah, and I'm glad you're still like, here. Let me tell y'all, I, I don't play that shit. Like, I, I ain't got time for it. I, I don't. Like, you know, I'm, I'm not toxic, <laughs> as they would say. I just, I have, I have boundaries. God and bless your next man. Are you single? Or you, yeah. Money Moses is locked up, so we know we got him to wear in. I'm single. I bet. But I got a question. <laughs> okay. But oh, I got a oh, question. Oh, oh. Um, but there is a difference. Just like 
a person who they always say who drinks all the time and get drunk compared to so and is so called not an alcoholic compared to a person who says I'm an alcoholic. Everybody deals with recovery different. Mm -hmm. um, you have those abuse victims who, unlike you, you fighting back and doing all of that. You have those who sit down there and getting whooped and cower from it and won't, you know, because they're so mentally broken down. At that point, a person who fight back to me is not. 100% mentally broke down they have that fight in them mm -hmm. you understand compared to people who get abused and sit down there for years and cower and um, won't even look at the person because they're scared they're going to get hit type you know you have mm -hmm. a lot of people out there who are still like that and I feel like they're way more broken than a person who maybe on the so I'm going to say this maybe on the maybe on the next episode I can kind of tell you why I think that I end up accepting it and I thought it was okay you know, so um, and I think it, it comes that comes from my childhood, you know, which a lot of times it does. Yep. Seeing it happen to mm -hmm. other people and so yep. forth and thinking that to me, well, in, in my case, it was I feel like I had to make a, a decision. So, like I said, we're talking more about it another time. Well, I'm going to be honest with the decision that I have to make is we got to know when to end the show. Mm -hmm. There's another topic. Um, no, quick, but, real quick. Get okay, you know, um, everybody in Hollywood is losing weight nowadays. All of a sudden, so for it, right? Um, Oprah Winfrey, she lost all that weight for the yeah. color purple and all of that. Okay. And it's always they always talk about is for these pills that they're taking, mm -hmm. right? Um, Chloe um, on the Kardashian, Chris on the Kardashian, he lost a lot of weight, and they. they put that big and bold, he was taking this drug. You know, a lot of people are taking Ozempic and all of these diabetes drugs to lose weight. That's what really? the celebrities are taking, diabetes drugs. And because of that, it's making like a, a shortage for people who are really suffering from diabetes to be able to get their medication what? because a lot of people are using it as weight loss drugs. That's the power they have wow. to take it away from people that really need it because they got the money to afford it. Yeah. Um, That's my stuff. Is that's wrong. That's actually kind of sad. That yeah. is. That's messed up. Well, yeah. you know, I think God will provide all their needs. I don't think there'll be, a, I think there'll be enough medicine. <laughs> it, 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 I think they're going to get their medicine and I God think they're going to move man. on. Um, I, I don't see them. They don't, you know, losing weight is one of the things you have to do when you're fighting diabetes anyway. Naturally, they need to start losing weight. But these celebrities these are pills. not losing. You know what I'm saying? Are not no, losing weight because they, get they up have diabetes. All these pills. They need to try to do it the natural way, like you be doing. Get out there and run. Get out there and walk. You know what I'm saying? That's what they got to do. People are lazy. Or just pay for it. Well, there you go. <laughs> there it is. Cut it off. Money. Add it on. You know what I'm talking about? Shout out to Buster Rhymes who lost all that weight real fast. What happened, man? Yeah. <laughs> you think he was on that? I don't know, but I just know he got he lost it fast. I didn't even see him. I didn't LaBelle know. LaBelle Crawford was on, on, on Shannon Sharp. And, uh, yeah, he, you know, he lost weight fast. I think he talked about that a little bit, too. So it's a lot of them, man. They're celebrities, man. They got to do that. They're doing it for the gram. Shout out to Big be, Boy. He lost weight. paying attention to everybody else. What they gotta everybody losing weight. You know what I'm saying? Check it, man. Boss Talk 101, man. Hey, man, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you become members. Hit that share button. Share our sh Share it. Ain't nothing wrong with sharing it, man. I don't see nothing wrong with sharing this content, man. Make sure you become a member. Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And we out.